she, you know what, she was a go-getter. She stuck with it and she was patient. She tell you anything about her life story? Yeah. What is it? Similar to mine, uh, uh, married with children for many, many years. Um, a very sad and rocky divorce. Um, and so that left her kind of in a situation where now what do you do with your life, you know? Um, so she decided to get a, a better education and go back to school. So we heard the first gunshot and um, we didn't, my instructor thought, okay, we thought it was a, maybe a project or, you know, like I said, a table falling over. Um, within 45, less than a minute later, we, the other shots, within six more shots that we'd heard. And in the middle of that's when my instructor says, we need to get the hell out of here. All right, that's okay, Daisy. That's a new kind of camera. <laughs> That's, yeah. He was sitting right in front of me actually and he got up and made sure we all got out of the class before he went back and helped. Well, we heard the first shot and then my teacher knocked on the wall and made sure that they were okay because we didn't think it was a gunshot. And then six gunshots went off in a row and Chris, we saw people running outside. And so Chris stood up and screamed at us all to get out and we started running following our teacher and he was running behind us and then he went to the library and pulled the alarms and then went back to Snyder. And apparently he charged the gunman. I didn't see any of that, but yeah. She always had a glow and she was always so nice and polite to people, strong in her faith. She didn't ever disrespect anyone and just loving, loving, caring, did sports in school. I was only with her for a year in school, so I didn't get to spend a lot of time with her. As a senior, you don't get to.